Hi, I've got a quick announcement to make before the video continues. I am introducing my new online waste reduction course for Australian education and care sector, that is early childhood teachers, educators, school teachers, principals, centre managers, operations managers, directors, etc. etc. So if you're not one of those people who, who are from this sector and who are keen on learning how to reduce waste, which is a big sustainability challenge, right? Then you're not gonna get a lot of value out of this video. So I just wanted to let you know right off the bat because I appreciate everybody who watches my videos, right? So if you're not one of those people, maybe, you know, it's up to you. Of course, you're welcome to watch it, but you're not gonna get anything out of it. On the other hand, if you are one of those people, educators and teachers who are keen on learning how to reduce waste, then you're gonna want to watch this video. So here we go. After behavior change, waste is the most important and most challenging sustainability area for educators, teachers and centre managers in Australian early childhood centres and schools. But here is the question. In what way is waste challenging and important? Is it waste reduction, waste reusing or recycling that is the challenging part? Well, here is what I have seen while working with hundreds of services around Australia. When we look at that middle part of this hierarchy, reuse, the services in my experience, and that means centers and schools, are doing pretty well, right? They are not only exceeding the national quality standard, they are exceeding the common distinction between waste and resource. They are, in my opinion, redefining our concept of what is waste and what is resource. Every time they are using an old milk bottle as, as a pot for planting, an old pallet or a bathtub as a garden bed, an old uh, bottle cup for art or old clothes as a, as a scarecrow, all of that, and I'm showing you some examples on the screen, this is how they are redefining that concept. It's fantastic. It's high five and thumbs up at this level of the waste hierarchy, reuse. When it comes to recycling, which is the bottom part of this hierarchy, services are doing so-so, okay, but not that good. And because it depends on many factors, such as, do they have their recycling bins? Do they have any say in what types of bins they can actually have, in-house and outside? Are they teams on board with sustainability? Are they cleaners who come after hours to clean? Are they also recycling or are they just chucking everything in the same bin, right? So there are simply too many factors, which is why uh, recycling, in my experience, in general, I know there are some fantastic recyclers, but in general, it's not doing too well, right? Um, but at the end of the day, as you see, recycling is the least important part in this hierarchy. So if it's not working, it's not the end of the world. And that brings me to the elephant in the room, right? Because we discussed reusing, it's fantastic, recycling, which is so-so, okay, but what is the most challenging and most important part in this hierarchy? Well, you know the answer. It's at this level, the top level, most important and most challenging, right? Waste reduction that we as a whole, as a society in Australia are doing pretty bad. You have heard the stats on the mountains of food waste and nappies and uh, coffee cups and plastic bags and TVs and phones and so on and so forth, right? So, and f clothes as well. So I won't bore you with the stats because th this problem is known, it's nothing new. So as a society, we are pretty bad in early childhood centers and schools at this level, waste reduction, we are also pretty bad. But it doesn't have to be this way. So let me introduce you to the solution to this waste problem. I have created a new online course for educators and teachers who are struggling with reducing waste. This course is called Waste Terminator and as the name suggests, it's about reducing waste, but not just any waste. It's about reducing those waste types that are the most challenging, right? And you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about piles of food waste, mountains of nappies, skips of old and unwanted resources or just 
thrown out for no reason and bags of consumables and disposable single-use stuff, among other types. So now, let me show you what you're gonna learn inside the Waste Terminator course. We will start by distinguishing between waste and resource. Then, you will meet the five biggest issues with waste reduction in the education and care sector. Then, you will see the key national waste reduction trends and where you fit in. You will discover three hard-to-reduce waste types in early childhood centers and schools and how to reduce them. You will meet the only waste type that contributes to climate change and you will learn five ways of reducing it. You will see how one large service reduced their landfill waste by one third and saved money. Then you will learn what could be the biggest waste reduction opportunity for early childhood centers, something like an emerging trend. Then you will learn how to negotiate your waste contract so you can reduce waste and save money. Then we will implement the principles of circular economy at your service and finally I will give you strategies for success so you can drive sustainable change through waste reduction at your service. So the final part of this, final lecture of this course, Waste Terminator, is more about behavior change and leadership. So as you can see, Waste Terminator is all about reducing waste. About 70 or 80% is focusing on reducing waste. That doesn't mean that we will never discuss recycling or reusing. We will, but it's not really a focus of the course. And I already explain to you why. Because reusing waste is already quite doing well, or reusing resources, I should say, is already working well in the services. Recycling, although it's not, not that successful in the services, it's not too much of a big deal, it's more of a nice to have. But what is definitely not nice to have, what is essential, right, and what is most challenging and most important in Australia and in early childhood services and schools is waste reduction, right? And that's the focus of this course called Waste Terminator. Here is what you're also getting with the Waste Terminator course. These free bonuses, and they come in with the course at no additional charge. So number one, you're getting my 10 credibility secrets for sustainability leader. And it accompanies the final lecture of the course on behavior change. And it includes fill in the blank uh, the templates on how to get people on board and navigate difficult situations, etc. Right? So that's the first bonus. The second bonus is my 10 sustainability and compliance touch points. So the name reveals what it's about. And the third bonus is my waste reduction fact sheet that you can print out and put on a wall in a staff room or in a corridor or wherever you want. So this is what you're getting with the course. You can get the Waste Terminator course, including these free bonuses, by clicking the red or orange button you see on the screen. And if you're watching it on YouTube, click the link in the video description. The course consists of video lectures and PDF slides and these PDF bonuses, right? There is no time limit on it. You have lifetime access. You can access it as many times as you want and you can access it from your laptop, from your iPad or desktop or, or phone, right? Now, because it's video lectures, like these lectures I've shown you, like uh, Get Strategies for Success, uh, free hard to reduce waste type I've shown you a few minutes ago. I can't put these video lectures on my website. So what the course is hosted on an external online learning platform called LearnDesk. So all you need to do is to just to create your unique uh, username and password uh, to LearnDesk. And that's where you will access the course, all so the videos and lectures. And I can't wait to see you inside and I can't wait to help you waste terminating and do some dumpster diving and really uh, help you with this challenge. So I'll see you inside.